Hello, YouTubers and Rebel Watchers. I got a package today from Amazon. And I'm going to open it up. And it is exactly what I've been waiting for. For my bed. Yes, it is. I hope I hear a noise outside. It is the gap closer. Remember, um, I might have mentioned in my previous video that I bought a new mattress topper, which is awesome right here and then I put the old mattress topper which is here on top of it but it keeps sliding down but anyway it's a short queen so I have this gap here and I kept to keep pushing my mattress forward so I don't have a gap behind my pillows so there it is it fills in the gaps now I wasn't sure if it was going to be wide enough to fill in that entire gap down here, but it might be perfect if I have it positioned the correct way. We'll see. I'm excited because then this will go in the back space behind the pillows and this will the other mattresses can extend all the way to the edge. And then I don't have to worry about Danny falling off the edge, although she has been using it as a stepping stool. Plus I could put a skirt around there. So here we go. We're gonna open it up because usually they tell you, uh, like with the, with the topper, they told me I needed to let it just be open for like 48 hours. I'm like, oh, I need to sleep on my bed. Where am I going to put this thing for 48 hours? But this is what we're going to open it up and let it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got it from Amazon. I, did, I originally got my topper, which I love the topper. It is so soft. If you like the soft bed, it's awesome and it's four inches plus the regular mattress for the camping bed for the bed is four inches so i have 10 inches in height because of mattress four four and then the small one which is two i do think i'm going to move the two inch topper in between the two mattresses because the new topper has straps to hold it on to the mattress and I think that'll keep the smaller topper in place so it doesn't keep well, coming over the edge. I can't stand that. It drives me crazy because I'm OCD. So let's carefully be careful not to rip it. Danny is looking at it like if you can see her face. What is that, Danny? What is that thing? Yeah, you're wondering what's on your bed, huh? Well, Mom, you know, I have barely have enough room as it is. Am I still going to be able to get up and down? Yes, you will. You just need to take the little stairway I made for you over to the side. I made a little stairway for her. She could come right up here. She goes on the first step, the second step, and the third step. And as you, most houses have, they have stuff on their steps. First step, second step, third step. Well, it appears to be, it's supposed to be 60. Here's like it's going to be the correct 
size, size to side, maybe a little scrunched in. It really seems like it's a decent material. Let me get it all the way off so you can see it. I will say it costs more than I thought it would when my friend told me about it. But the thing of it is, is it depends on the size that you get. I got a bigger one than most people get. And um, it was just over $50. With shipping, I think it was $63 or $64. I like the fact that it's, a, it's, my, it's actually a, in my colors, which is the charcoal gray or a charcoal matches my rig. It's got a sit out for it's got the zipper on it. I'll show you here. It has a zipper so you can clean wash this. And inside, even the foam itself has another white cover on it. You know not real expensive but kind of cheap cover on it cover on it but it's supposed to it, it's really loose so I'm thinking it's going to extend more it's deep shark is the who it's made by and I'm thinking it's going to be perfect if I lay it this way in the back, but it will be like a little shy of this topper. It won't be a big deal once I get the topper in place. I'm hoping this raises up a little bit as it's, you know, get, you know, expanding. I'm hoping because there's still a lot of, I can see a lot of space looseness in here. So I'm hoping it will get bigger I think you know you can do it two ways if you only have this much to cover it would be perfect because it's supposed to be 10 inches tall which would have been perfect but depending on how much it expands to the to the side here will make the difference on which way I choose to use it I may choose to just use it this way and I'm hoping it's going to puff up a little bit and be perfect. I'm thinking it might be, um, well, this part is a little shorter than actually in the back, I think. Not sure. I'm sure I could squish it in there. But I'm going to let it expand first and see how it goes. And that's Deep Shark. I got it on Amazon. And I will put it in my Amazon store. By the time you see this video. Or I'll leave a link in my description. So for all you guys that are tall. Uh, one of my friends, Benny, if you're watching. Uh, from growing, I grew up with. We were just talking about how the RV beds are not long enough for uh, most men who are like six feet tall. I mean, they're just, you know, because they're short queens. And uh, for me, it's fine, but I just don't like the gap with the um, mattresses coming loosening up. It just looks weird and everything. So I'm hoping that this is going to be just perfect. I think it is even if I have to lay it this way. We'll be back to show you what we do and how it fits. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Yay, I'm huffing and a puffing because I'm putting this in shape. So I got the regular mattress, which is only four inches. 
Then I have my original topper and my new topper. What's nice, like I said before, is the new topper has these straps which fit around it. Now I'll show you my spacer. It comes almost all the way out. It really does, um, which is much better than it was. But I still have a gap up there because the, um, the gap thing I bought if I put it up where it's 10 inches tall to match with these, I'm going to have too much room at this end. If I leave it the way it is, I could put my two pillows but in I'll there. I'll take you over there to see it before I put my sheets on. And I still got to put the straps on at this end. Okay, so here it is. I have a cover on my other one. So I still gotta put the strap along it. Here is the gap filler, right there. Now, the one I got is supposed to be 10 inches high up to here, and eight inches um, this way. I could order another one, but 50 something bucks each, I might do that. But also, I can go ahead and turn this around which would still leave a little gap over at the other end. I'll show you, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna put the straps around the mattresses, but I did wanna show you, I did turn it the other way. Some people would put the zipper down or put the zipper up, whatever. But I do still have room. I mean, I really would like, I could push the mattresses up closer, which will be fine. I'll do that. It'll just be a little short at the other end, but still it extends it. It does fill the gap a little bit better than I had it before. You know, the gap filler. Fill in the gap. Yeah, see, I definitely probably am gonna order another one. As soon as I can save up a little bit more money, 50 something dollars. Maybe when I get my if I get a YouTube check, I didn't get one last month. Okay. It is done. I just got to make sure that Danny doesn't try to get up this side. Because there's no room for her to get up and down. She has to take her little stairway here. Stairway to heaven. 